Okay, so this time last night we showed you how Fairfax County Police helped a 93 year old whose home was broken into. Officers, you can see right there, cleaned up broken glass and installed plywood over the window. Well, all new tonight, we now know that her home was one of several broken into mm -hmm. and the suspect in that string of crimes is in custody. Katie Lesso is here and Katie, you've learned this suspect was recently released from jail on some different charges. Yes, court records show he was released on bond on December 6th. Well, tonight he is now back behind bars, accused of stealing a car, breaking into four homes and trying to break into a business one of the victims, as you mentioned, is a 93 year old woman, and tonight the community has truly stepped up to help her. After a 24 hour burglary spree, the man accused finally in custody. It began Monday night. Cops say he broke into a home on Willow Crescent Drive in Oakton and stole the victim's car. Three hours later, police say he tried to break into a business on Clifton Road in Fairfax Station. Then, just after 6 a.m. on Tuesday, cops were called to Swift Trails Run Drive. Caller woke up, found a male subject in their home. Less than three hours later, another call. Subject inside mobile home on property. And minutes after that, directly across the street for a possible subject in the bedroom downstairs. He's on the roof. 10-4, subject on the roof. He just went back in the house, second floor. At 9.27 a.m., police say Angel Argetta Galeas was arrested and the damage assessed. The window at the back is broken. Fairfax County Police say when the officers learned the last victim was a 93-year-old woman, they stepped up to help using supplies that were donated by Lowe's to cover up her broken window. Our officers were there. They were in the right place at the right time. We were able to really help somebody and just see the human side and see a community come together. On top of that, Circle Glass and Mirror in Fairfax saw the news and offered to donate a replacement window. I was talking to the officer. He said she didn't have any family in the area or anything. And I, we were going to do it before we know that. But um, that makes it even more that we, you know, we want to do it even more because we want, we want to help. Because after all, it is the season of giving. Certainly when you have a community that's stepping up to help one another, it's very encouraging. And of course, the good news is that none of the homeowners were injured, including that woman tonight. Police say is being held without bond. Leslie. Oh, my goodness, Katie, what a saga. All right.